afternoon. Welcome to Def Expo and the Naval Group booth as you are here. So I'm S. Basu. I work as a director of services and development. I started my career in Naval Group. Uh, this is my first company, in fact. I started as a trainee in France, and since then it has been seven to eight years. I moved from France after training, came as a purchaser, been in projects, and now in business development, if I may say so. Naval Group in India, as you know, started as a subsidiary of 100% subsidiary of the company when it was DCNS. It became Naval Group recently, and we still remain the 100% subsidiary, being the sole responsible to do indigenization, coordination with the customers in India. Uh, today, our main project remains P75. Uh, our subsidiary was built based on this project, and our main aim was at the beginning to create the industrial ecosystem which will foster and help the P75 program to mature and then move on to the next level for the future projects. By which we mean that we create the industrial ecosystem today and we use it to be better placed to win contracts for the future and serve better Indian Navy. You must have heard about Make in India. The, the well-meant perception and concept and move from the government in my opinion, Make in India is not a mere concept. It's more an industrial engagement. And like any relationship and engagement, it needs time, it needs emotions, and it needs maturity. And if you want to achieve those, you need to be in the country. And I think Nebel Group decided at that time to, and it was one of the pioneer companies to do so, even before Make in India was officially launched, that we need to be in the country to achieve this maturity. And since the last seven to eight years in the project, I would believe we have uh, created a, com a company which is really Indian. We have Indian team with French colleagues. We have been training them to achieve this kind of indigenization. We started with 500 to 600 companies. We have audited many of them. We have qualified more than 100. And we have presently on the P75 program decided to work on, let's say, 40. But that's not the end. We, as DCNS India or Naval Group in India, as we say so, have more than 100 companies in our industrial ecosystem which are ready to work with us and help us for the future projects. Submarine building is a core competence. And very few countries have achieved uh, this competence and the skill to make it from the first of class. When the Indian government decided, it's not Naval Group who decided, for a company it's always easy to start the production in their country. But when the customer wants to make it in India and create that competence locally and with our knowledge of transfer of technology, we couldn't agree more. And I think at that time we decided yes, whatever the customer wants, and with our ability to solve that. As you know, Indian Navy wants to be autonomous, have more uh, presence in the Indian Ocean area, which is politically correct, which is as a nation correct, and they would love to have more submarines. Uh, with, today they have Scorpion class, which is the latest generation modern submarine. But the expectations do not end there. They would like to have more advanced, more bigger submarines. So we as a company would look, are looking at supporting Indian Navy for these projects and uh, in coming days they, are, they would also like to have heavyweight torpedoes which is also makes sense because it has to be seamlessly integrated to the, uh, company, uh, to the submarine that they already have and uh, our main focus today as a company is to finish the P-75, support the Navy in its maximum best possible operation through optimum maintenance and move ahead to the future submarine projects and support the integration of the best latest uh, heavyweight torpedo for it. Who has created a value-added partnership with MDL, which is one of the only shipyard probably in this side of the world to make and be able to make a submarine from scratch. And this core competence and the workshops and the investment in infrastructure and human resources needs to be nurtured, needs to be preserved. And as an industrial, French, Indian or whatever, I think the best message is as a government, as an industrial, as a DPSU, we all have to come together 
and preserve this uh, competence and build upon for the next generation of uh, naval platforms as innovative as possible.